In this session, we discuss numerical on by relative pole method for synthesis of three position synthesis of a slider kind mechanism. The data which is given to you from the numerical statement is theta 1 2 is equal to 60 degree. That is angle between first and second position of input link is given. Then for first and third position, it is 100 degree. S12 is 2 centimeter, that is slider position between 1 and 2 position. S13 is 5 centimeter, while eccentricity is 2 centimeter. Now just to just for drawing purpose, we drawn these two reference lines. So this first vertical line I'm drawing is a line passing through center of the crank. You can say A, the point of center of rotation of crank, that is A. Already other line is drawn, which is parallel to this path. That line represents slider stroke. Here the distance is two centimeter. Okay, by mistake it is taken two point five something. So we need to erase that. We have to mark two centimeter as eccentricity, and the path of slider is parallel to the path a reference line you already drawn. We'll mark a point C somewhere, or you can say drawn approximately on this path. A and C are drawn approximately, not at any specific distance. Now we have to mark S12, which is given 2 centimeter from a line parallel to this vertical line. As the slider is assumed to move towards right side, and hence we will draw that S12 in opposite direction of slider path. As it is moving right, so I am drawing towards left from a center of rotation of a crank. So this distance I am drawing it is S12 by 2. As it is 2 centimeter, we draw half of that, that is 1 centimeter. So this distance is 1 centimeter. And just drawn here, vertical line through that distance. That is, distance is equal to S12 by 2. Of course, in opposite direction of a slider path, therefore shown negative. Similarly, we need to mark S13, which is 5 centimeter and half of it. As per procedure part, we need to draw half of that. The 5 centimeter distance is given. So we have to mark 2.5 centimeter. You can see that distance is 2.5 centimeter from center of crank rotation or a vertical line drawn through center of crank rotation. So I'm drawing S1 3 by 2. Opposite to slider motion. Now we need to complete next portion of the problem. For this, you have to understand the motion of crank also. As I consider the slider is moving towards right side, this crank is moving towards clockwise side. This is the rotation of crank. So I need to consider angle in opposite to that of crank rotation. So here we'll take that angle 60 degree, half is 30 degree in opposite direction of crank rotation from positive x. So 30 degree, you can see here. We're taking half of that theta 1 2, that is 30 degree. The 
has drawn it passing through center of rotation of crank. This angle that is theta 1, 2 by 2 in opposite direction of crank and rotation. And whenever these two lines intersect, that is R12, we get R12, which is intersection of vertical line at distance of S12 by 2 and angle theta 1, 2 by 2. Similarly, we need to mark R13. For this, we use theta 1, 3 by 2. So from this, it's a 50 degree angle with respect to vertical that is passing through center of rotation of crank. So we have to use 50 degree. You can check with reference to vertical line we drawn, of course, in opposite direction of crank rotation. This is theta 1, 3 by 2, half of the theta 1, 3. And the, its intersection with S1, 3 by 2 will give you R1, 2, or you can say R1, 3. These are nothing but relative poles for first position, first and second position, and first and third position. Once you get R12, R13, you need to get angles subtended by that lines. And for that, we'll join R12 with C. And then we have to join R13 with C. Now let's consider angle a r12 and give some name to that line for a vertical intersection so this angle you can see r1 angle made by a r12 with vertical of s12 by 2 and let's take that name as p point so this angle a r12 p angle made by a r12 p is equal to c Wait, uh, one minute. So we take okay, uh, just in the reverse way, P R one two A is equal to angle C R one two B. Now, what is B? B represents crank end, coupler end. The B points represents coupler end. Okay, now we need to find that B point. For that, we need to consider angle B R12 C, or you can say C R12 B from this. As that angle is 30 degree, so we'll consider that angle as 30 degree. Which angle is 30 degree? P R12 A is 30 degree. Therefore, we also mark from C R12 B, we draw one line at 30 degree. This line. And on this line, somewhere we have point B. Okay, we call that as C R12 R instead of B point. Of course, that angle is equal to theta 1 2 by 2, as this angle P R12 A is th uh, theta 1 2 by 2. Now, similarly, as P, we take Q point on the vertical line through R13 and consider angle enclosed by Q R13 A, and that is equal to angle C R13 B. Now again, join C with R13. And now take angle the same way as previous, that is Q R13A, that is theta 1, 3 by 2, is equal to angle C R13B point. So join, take angle, which is 50 degree. So C R13 B is 50 degree. And when are these two points? Let's say called as C R13 S. It has. So when are intersection of these two points, that is C R13 B, theta 1, 3 by 2, and C R13 R instead of B, we call R S and R. C R13 R12 R is point B. So we get crank end which is connected to coupler. Now join this crank 
end with center of the crank which represents ab and join bc to obtain coupler which connects crank to a slider and this length is l2 and l3 so we obtain l2 and l3 here let's calculate it so l2 is 5 cm and l3 is 15 cm likewise you can synthesize a four bar mechanism sorry we can synthesize a slider crank mechanism by using three position synthesis of a relative pole method i repeat what we discussed just we first by considering this dimension we just mark these two lines at offset distance then through a draw a vertical line from this vertical line mark distance s12 by 2 and s13 by 2 in opposite direction of a slider motion after that take angles theta12 by 2 and theta13 by 2 in opposite direction of a crank rotation so whenever the theta12 by 2 line intersect with s12 by 2 that is your first relative pole between 1 and 2 position when our theta 1 3 by 2 and r 1 3 by 2 intersect that is our relative pole of first and third position then we take this equal angles angle by p r 1 2 a must be equal to c r 1 2 r and similarly q r 1 3 a must be equal to c r 1 3 s and its intersection of these two lines represents cranking then we join this a b c to obtain desired mechanism thus we find out l2 and l3 by using three position synthesis of slider crank mechanism using relative pole method